Hi there, it's Fabian speaking and this is a quick start guide for Swist. What does Swist do? Swist creates text in a fixed width for you. So you can read in your own text files and he will bring all the text lines into the same width. Let me show you. I got some text files here and Swist will read every line and make an After Effects text layer out of it. So let's get started. I shut off the bus gen and shut off the autocolor and uh, just read in one of my text files. Maybe I take this one. Set the font I want with the colors I want, with the fill color I want, with the stroke color I want and hit Swist. And there you go, you got your text in the same width. Or, let's, let's make this thinner, so that it looks better. Let's twist again, and there you go. So, what else? Um, as you can see, there's a shadow checkbox, so he adds a shadow. We can't see this right now with a bright color, because he will try to match the background. But if I change the color, you can see there's a shadow. And now you can switch through your fonts and try some different, different stylings and you always got the right width. What else? You can extrude text. Let me remove all this stuff here. For the extrude, I take a bright fill color, gray stroke and I set all fills over all strokes and hit twist. He creates a pre-comp with the number of comps you defined here in this text field and another pre-comp that holds the text so you can adjust the lines, get back to your main comp and there you go. You can also do stuff like let the background accept lights and Make it a nicer color. Yeah. If you want a more volumetric shadow, you could activate on all of these the cast shadow option, but this will make the comp pretty hard to render. Yeah. To get rid of these tiny stripes here, just increase the stroke color, uh, the stroke width on the layers. So if we set this up a bit, this one needs a bit more. Oh, that looks better. Let's have a look at some examples what you can create with Swist, like this or that, or that, or this one. That's it for the quick start guide. Have fun fiddling with it.